I joined Santi Cassie's Academy mm. and uh, he came to Wales quite a few times to teach us. I used to go to, I'd been to Belgium and uh, Spain to train with him. And again, his karate was different again mm. from other times, you know, yeah. where we'd always train in Fudadachi. Uh, he did more open hand techniques with Gazi than anyone else. Um, he told wonderful stories about himself, you know, which, you know, would full a book. But, um, of course, by joining um, Kazi's academy, we got to train with Sanchi Shirai, mm. who was another sensation. I mean, if you'd seen Shirai's demonstrations in Crystal Palace years ago, they were just awesome. When you think you had the likes of Kanazawa, Yanoida, Shirai, and other top Shotokan mm -hmm. instructors at a KGB championships years ago doing these demos, it was just spine belt, it, it's incredible. You know, it just wanted to train more and more and more. It was special. And I'm lucky enough that I was. Competition. Again, back in the old days, it was hard, it was bruising, it was rugged, it wasn't pretty to watch. But nowadays, I'd say the, the skill level of the, the karateka is far superior. Whether they'd win against the old time karateka, I don't know. I don't think so because there was a lot more spirit. Um, but the skill level now is far higher. But personally, I hate competition. You know, I'm a traditional karate man. Uh, like to fight in the club, obviously, with the students and everything else. But um, I find competition brings out the worst in people. You know, I've seen black belts crying because they've lost. And that's at every level. Mm -hmm. I was at a European Championship once and I seen a guy and he demolished everyone in this competition. And he lost in the final. And this is one of the top comp competitors in Europe. And he bowled the stadium down. Because he lost. And I just... Just went through me I, and even now even in our own competitions uh, junior black belts they lose their fight and they go and cry in a corner I just can't it just don't make sense to me anymore and I find it brings out the worst in instructors uh, if they're refereeing they cheat so their own students can win um, you know there's bad language and not so much in the shoulder cam competition, because I wouldn't allow it in our competitions, obviously. And, you know, if you fought down in Seco, it, it was always dead rigid. But you go to an open tournament, and sometimes the manners there are just mm. terrible. Yeah. Terrible to the referees, to each other. And um, the last open tournament I ever refereed in, was a Cliff, Burn, Cliff Hepburn uh, competition up in London and Bobby Poynton, who was chief referee on the day, said to me, uh, would you referee? So I said, yeah. So I did a few fights, showed the can against Wadu, Wadu against different styles. But after probably two hours, I said to Bobby, I can't handle this, Bobby, you know, it, uh, I can't handle the bad manners, the abuse, because you feel as if you want to go over and knock them out, the things they're saying to you, you know, yeah. uh, which wouldn't be allowed in, in a shuttle camp tournament. Just wouldn't be allowed. And uh, I said, that's it, leave it there. And that's the last time I ever refereed in an all star tournament. Obviously, I refereed shuttle camp. Mm -hmm. But, um, that was the last time 
no, I just can't bear going to a competition. I haven't been to a competition in 10 years. I hate it. I don't mind my students going. They want to go and take part, which they've always done. And they've been some of the top fighters. You know, the KW, we've had some of the best fighters in Wales, you know. And it, you know, it's been wonderful for them. But I just can't hack it anymore. Well, the balance has always been basics, kata, and we've always, <laughs> you take any karate instructor, he's running a class, he's obviously got to teach the basics, he's obviously got to do the katas for the gradings, and usually kumite comes at the end, and we're all struggling to get it in. The last 10 or 15 minutes of a class, you're struggling, if you're a traditionalist. Yeah. If you're just one of these people who want to teach Kumite Karate, then you have the old lesson at it. Yeah. But personally, I think that um, a Kumite class ought to be separate. Yeah, okay. Se on a separate night, yeah. on a Sunday morning, on a Saturday morning. And you need an old class just for Kumite, I believe. Mm. Not so much in our new class, in the normal class. You just haven't got time mm. to teach everything. Because let's face it, I mean, years ago a class was two hours. Yeah. Now it's dropped to an hour and a half, and most classes last one hour. By the time they collected the money, and some of them even stopped for a break, which not in my class they didn't. No. You know, they've got to stop for their pop and crisps, because it's a kid's class now. But, uh, not in my class. No. But, um, you know, you taught them nothing, really. Mm. You'd have a job to teach them just the basics in that time, a low Kumite. So I think my position with Kumite, uh, competition, yeah. should be separate. Yeah. Separate day, separate night, mm. weekend. Yeah. That's what I think.